On this video, I'm hopefully going to teach you three things. Firstly, what an ND filter is, when and where you actually use one, and how you can use the DJI Fly app for a neat little trick to be able to ensure you get the right ND filter for the environment with which you are shooting. So let's get into it. There is a hell of a lot of misinformation all over YouTube and the internet and misconceptions as to when and where you should use an ND filter. So what is an ND filter then? An ND filter very simply is a colored piece of glass which limits the amount of light going into your camera's sensor. It is as simple as that. It does not affect your video in any way in terms of color, it doesn't make your video any sharper or blurry. It doesn't increase your saturation. It is very simply, effectively, like a set of sunglasses for your drone. When do you need to use ND filters then? So again, many YouTubers will give you a wrong piece of information when it comes to ND filters and when you should use them. Many people will claim it is a sunny day. You must have a set of ND filters. That very simply is not the case. The correct answer as to when you should use ND filters is very simply whenever you want to achieve motion blur in your video. It is as simple as that. In this video, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of ND filters. I've already done that on a previous video, and you can check that out using a link in the description below. When you are filming video, okay, and you want to achieve cinema standard motion blur within your video, you should set your shutter speed at double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you would ideally use 48 um, for your shutter speed, but of course we don't have that. So we use the closest, which is 50, or if you were shooting at 30 frames per second, you would choose 60 and so on and so on. All that is to do is to get motion blur inside your video, okay? Now, for that to happen, you have to be actually shooting something with motion in it. Now, that doesn't mean if you have got your drone up in the air and you are flying along the video you have or the video feed, that doesn't constitute as motion. What would constitute as motion is if you had your drone up in the air and you was filming somebody running at fast or recording a motorcycle or something like that or recording a, a car moving, that would constitute as motion inside your video, okay? Here's a brief demonstration on screen now as to what would happen if you didn't use ND filters. So if you don't use ND filters and you just leave your drone set on auto, as you can see, when we pause the video here, you have got a very, very crisp image of me doing some star jumps. And of course, if you want to set your shutter speed or double your frame rate, of course, your shutter is going to be open for longer, so it's going to let in too much light. So again, if we try to do and achieve cinematic motion blur without an ND filter, we just get a massively overexposed image. And then, of course, if we do use an ND filter, we can uh, get our properly exposed image. And of course, we can also achieve that motion blur. Like I say, please do check out my other video so you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But that is the brief summary. One of the major questions people do ask is on ND filters, how do you know which one to use on a particular day. Of course, again, it doesn't particularly matter whether it's sunny or dull. So for this, I have the DJI Mini 2. I have a really nice set of ND filters provided to me by Freewell Gear. You know, they're a really, really nice set and pretty much does come with everything, but this isn't a brand promotion. This is teaching you how to use them. Although I will add that Freewell are about the best in the business. Okay, and we are also going to use this light source here, which is going to take place, and this is going to mimic the sun. So here's something quite interesting then, and this is built in within the DJI Fly app, a really, really nice feature. And I'm going to show you in that DJI Fly app how you can use it to expose your image correctly, very simply because one of the major questions people do ask is on ND filters, how do you know which one to use on a particular day. Of course, again, it doesn't particularly matter whether it's sunny or dull. If you, if you are getting an overexposed image, then of course, any time is right for ND filters. But like I said, they do not do anything for photos unless you want long exposure photography. They don't enhance your image, they don't enhance your picture. 
they very simply just act as a pair of sunglasses. So if we look at the DJI Fly app, then you can see I am in an automatic setting. When we are in automatic mode, what happens is the drone manually sorts its shutter speed out to limit the amount of light coming in to make sure that your image is exposed correctly. However, what we need to do is we need to alter that by switching into manual mode. So if we switch the, from where it says auto, you can now see pro. I am pointing the drone directly at the light source. Hopefully you can see that. If we look in the bottom right corner, you will see a figure that shows plus 1.0. And effectively that is the drone telling you that it is overexposed by plus one. So it generally goes up in 0.3 increments, okay? Now, very quick, I want to show you something else which many people do actually use, which I'm not so keen on. If we go into the menu, so the top three buttons, and then we click overexposure warning, you get these zebra lines all over any particular light source. And some people suggest checking that or checking the histogram. But the problem with that is, it might work in a studio when I'm doing this video, but when we go out in the real world and you're trying to film anything that's overexposed, the zebra lines really do get in the way and block your shot effectively. I don't really like to use them, but I'm going to show you this other method. In that bottom corner, we are overexposed by plus one. The simple way to do it would be to just increase our shutter speed, okay? But then that stops us getting the cinematic motion blur because our shutter is basically too high. So what we need to do is we need to knock that back down to one over 50. There we go. And this is where ND filters come in. So for the start, I'm going to pick ND4. And that is what the ND filter looks like for the DJI Mini 2. And these, of course, fit the Mavic Mini as well, because it is the same camera. So very simply, I'm going to tilt the drone down. And I'm going to just slot that in place. There you go, nice and simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drone back in front of our light source. And as you can see, that has not changed. Now, if we look back at our DJI Fly app, we are now underexposed by 0.7. Underexposed is fine because you can always brighten it up in post if you need to. However, this is perfect if you have a solid and fixed light source. But in the real world, that doesn't particularly happen, does it? Because this could be the amount of light that's hitting your sensor when the sun is behind a cloud. What happens when that cloud moves? Well, very simply, this gets brighter, okay? This gets brighter and then your drone image then becomes overexposed once again. As you can see, that is now far too bright. And if we look again back in the bottom corner, that is telling us our exposure is plus 1.0. So again, overexposed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch from the ND4, which is on, and we'll try the ND8, which is, of course, the next stop up. So very quickly, let's change that. So there you go. That is the ND8 on. If we go back to our DJI Fly app, you will see in the bottom corner, again, we are 0.0. .0 and that has worked perfect for absolutely perfect exposure. That is how you use the DJI Fly app as a very simple hacking tool to be able to ensure that your image is exposed correctly. Of course, there is no absolute guarantee which one you want to set it at. Some people deliberately overexpose their image, like I did on this video filming ships. I deliberately overexposed it so then I could blow out blow out the highlights so then the colors really did sort of uh, look really really nice and sharp because of the look that i was applying so that was deliberate but of course it's all down to personal preference now of course again this is all down to the dji fly app having this little inbuilt tool that you can use to do this if you're not using a dji drone very simply you can just play around put your video feed on on your phone and just basically point your drone around and just see what image you are happy with. So hopefully you found this little guide useful. And again, I just thought doing it this way using these and the free well filters, of course, I just thought that this was a much easier way to demonstrate how to do this without having to go out and mess around. And of course, I've got a controllable light source. So I can really show how you use that little tool. So hopefully you found that useful. If you do want to pick up a set of the free world filters, links in the description below. They're a really, really good piece of kit. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.